What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubit's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my amazing wife over here are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to all new, healthy, positive levels, right? Because that's what we're all going for in a relationship. Hopefully, that's what you're going for, too, as well. And uh, this week is uh, Valentine's Week. <gasps> Well, Valentine's Day is here, you know. The day Hallmark made up so we can spend money. Well, you know, cu <laughs> Cupid's Corner, you know, Valentine's Day, go ahead, right hand in hand, right? For sure, for sure. So hopefully you got hit by that Cupid's arrow, ah, and you guys are okay. going to do something really nice for Valentine's Day or have. And, uh, you know, every year we, we talk about Valentine's Day, maybe different things you guys can do for Valentine's Day, and we can cover all that too as well. And every week we bring you guys great tips that will hopefully – you know, bring you to a great Valentine's Day, right? All the way up to the day of Valentine's Day, or it feels like every day is Valentine's Day to your loved one. So, um, you know, this year, you know, the same thing, right? What are you guys doing or what have you done for Valentine's Day to set it up? And, you know, Valentine's Day is, you know, they call it a Hallmark holiday. You know, us guys, you know, we're like, ah, we got to get our girl something. <laughs> I mean, but it should mean something, you know, as far as a relationship and wanting to do something for your partner. And usually it's more guy to girl driven, I, I've seen now the Galentine's Day things where guys for Are you Valentine's serious? This is a thing. It's oh a thing now. God. So now it's reverse yeah. roles. So now us guys might be getting Jeez. flowers and candies and little bears. Thank God I didn't buy him flowers and candies. <laughs> I mean flowers. Flowers. <laughs> yeah, I always like candy. Yeah, chocolate. yeah. He but, loves chocolate. Uh, but, you know, at that point, like, it should be about both of you guys, right? And that's really where it comes into hand. And, you know, you guys doing something together that makes it special or memorable. You know, I was talking to Sharice what was it, today or yesterday or whatever it was, and she's like, oh, we can just go for dinner the other night or whatever. You know, we've been together for so long. I'm like, well, I don't want to <laughs> He's do, like, I don't, I don't want, want to be like that. I don't want it to be like that. You know, I don't want to. I'm like, you're right, you're right. Once you do that once, it's really easy to do it again and again and again. And then what are you, what are you doing? You're just, you're just going through the, the, the motions at that point. Yeah. Why even celebrate it? Why even call it that? So, you know, at that point, like, make the time memorable. So do something special for your loved one, you know? It was brought up to me the other day, and, and I really don't like or don't care about Taylor Swift or oh, the you know the Achilles guy you know from the Kansas City Chiefs. But their day, and you know the question was brought up: What does he get somebody that is already a billionaire? I know, right? That's tough, man. When somebody has everything, you better start like really thinking because money is not a value at that point. It, it really isn't. So at that point, like you know, you go and you think out of the box. Now listen. Flowers are always going to play, I think, for, for sure. any woman out there. Always. You know, there are, some, there are some women out there that do not like flowers. But like a one few, few and far between. That's just, like Sharice not liking chocolate. I was just going to bring that up. That's just like Sharice not liking chocolate. She's the 1% of the population that doesn't eat chocolate. It is so repulsive. So you, sh you need to know <laughs> what your girl's into. And like I said, majority of girls are into chocolate and flowers. So that's going to be a home run right there. Um, after that, it's something to do, you know, that's going to – Burn a hole in their heart, per se, right? Something that's going to really get to them. Burn a hole. Well, you're, you're like you're you're branding their heart with your with with, yeah. with, with what it is, right? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's burning. Right? <laughs> so, you know, with, with this, you, you want to definitely like you know come up with some idea. Now, Sharice does a really good idea every time that we have something like this. Speaking of ideas and chocolate, she gets me like these personalized gifts. Right? John always gets me on camera, and this year. I got to get him on camera, and even better yet, I got him on the show. <laughs> this is so great. You can't ask for anything more organic than this. It's Galentine's Day. It's Galentine's Day. <laughs> Guys, it's Manentine's Day, right? No, no, no. Um, but I got John a few things. Um, this year I got him something really cute. It's like all, all my gifts I always tell John are so cheesy. But – this is like, okay, this is a home run, so we're going to let John open this for me. Oh, uh, well, we know what this is. If yeah. you guys don't know what a lot of ratches, or I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a, a company from uh, Sweden, right? Yeah, Sweden. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, basically, when the virus hit, COVID hit, all the Godivas <laughs> shut down Crazy. nationwide. Crazy. No more stores in the United States. That was John's favorite chocolate. And um, you can order their boxes and stuff like that, but it's not, not like same. going to the store. You're getting like, it like fresh, fresh chocolate. Fresh, with, like, you know, in the there. case. You know what I'm saying? So Happy this company, Wednesday. thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. I love you. Mm, I love you more. No way. I love you more. No, I love you more. So this company <laughs> took over all the spots, and they took over the spot in our mall. And honestly, I think their chocolate is a little bit better. I got John hooked up this year. Yeah, so let's see what we got. What's in the box? Be careful. It's set up There's so much nicely. chocolate in here. It's ridiculous. It's like a little box in here. What do we got here? Let's see. What's in the box? The pop-up box of chocolate. We got some bark here. What is this? What is that's this? new. Ooh, is this? What is this? Coconut. Coconut. Oh, I like it. Coconut bark. And that's new for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's new, new. We got a little heart for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Look at that. And you guys can get, honestly reverse gift this and get this for your girl. <laughs> Good. And a couple boxes here, and these are going to be and like truffles the, and all kinds the, of all stuff. All the hazelnut crunches and whatever else nice. John eats on this disgusting chocolate. But Disgusting chocolate. Look for that, him. Guys. For him. I shall touch the chocolate box. <laughs> Okay, just for him. So cool. All right, and He's trying to get me fat. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, so I'll let you open. What else you got? This first. This one probably shouldn't be opened on a live television. Uh oh. But it's okay. Neiman Marcus. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, look at I got Versace underwear. Because he would never buy them for himself. This is true. He wouldn't. He just wouldn't do it. So it's like you know. Even though it, he makes, he's, I've made this joke before, like, I would get you underwear for Valentine's Day. He's like, can you give me underwear? Like, this is no ordinary underwear. This is Versace. Versace. And underwear. it's made of cotton and elastane, which his Calvin Klein's are made of cotton and elastane. Ooh, like it. Like it. And black with, like, they got the Greek keys yeah, on it. That's awesome. Right up your alley. All right, what else we got? No. Similar. That's Some more pack. Versace underwear. Some white and black. All right. Yeah, one more thing in there. One more thing in there. What is this? Socks. And more underwear. Oh, there's more underwear. You need new underwear, obviously. I didn't see no socks. Oh, here they are. Yeah. They're hidden all the tissue. I know. I've, I've, I've made a little thing for oh, him. Oh, wow. Versace socks. And these are different. These are like almost like a towel. Right? Right? I thought they were cute. Because your, your feet will never be soaked, right? <laughs> no, they'll be the warm. Time. Warm. All right. Now you get to open the fun stuff. Here's uh -oh. your card. Yeah. With that, and this will be the last gift. So one of the most important things to me, and I think your parents teach you this when you're a little kid, because when you're a little kid, you always want to go for the, the gift, is the card. It's always the card. Sure. It's always the card. The card is the, definitely the best thing. And Charisse's cards are actually better because she gets personalized <laughs> cards. So me and her are on the front. This is awesome. It's a great picture, too. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. I love you more than you will ever truly understand. You are my everything. Thank God every day for blessings. Me with you. The keeper of my heart and soul. Love, Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> so this is a custom card, too, is what, what she wrote. And that's my little little nickname for her. So just happy Valentine's Day, Daddy Boo. Thank you for you being you. I'll put all my other love notes in your special box this year. I love you. Special book, actually. Uh-oh. What else we got? I got you this. Oh. A whole entire book of things I love about you, Daddy Boo, a.k.a. you, by Boo Boo Kitty. Oh, my God. <laughs> and every page is filled out. <laughs> it's so cute. He's going to have to read it. Oh. He'll get a kick out of every single page because it's very awesome. personalized. So. Wow. I, guess I wasn't expecting that. And then we have one more. What do we got? I didn't get to see this yet. Hopefully it turned out okay. Oh, this is nice. Is John and Sharice love you more? Because me and Sharice always say, it, like, I love you. And I'm like, well, I love you more. I love you more. So cool. As I said, little gifts like this, like stuff like that, that's, that's, that's something. And that should mean more than, you know, the, the big material items that people are expecting for Valentine's Day. So I love you. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day, Thank you. And you guys will see what I got her. Of course, I got her flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, add to my collection. Yes. <laughs> well, what kind of box? What color are they? I know. That's gotta, the question at hand. You've got to remember which ones not to repeat. I mean, that's right. That's a tough one. We don't want duplicate boxes here or duplicate flowers. <laughs> so, you know, as far as that goes, 
you guys see what she got me, right? And this is this is really, really nice stuff. So, um, you know, what I'm going to get her is really nice too as well. But like I said, if you don't have money or you guys are financially strapped or whatever it is, then think outside the box. Do something that doesn't cost any money, any money or if it's very minimal, mm -hmm. then Memories that's okay. You, you, you can't pay for memory. Yeah, and especially if you live here in Florida. If you live here in Florida, there's so much here to do, especially this week. The weather's nice. Mm -hmm. Go out, do something, anything, right? There's so much stuff to do here. So at that point, you guys should go get out, make memories together, and make a memorable Valentine's Day. And that way, you know, you guys think about the Valentine's Day from last year. But hey, remember that? You guys can talk about the memories, stuff like that, on the next Valentine's Day, and you guys do something special then. It's all about the special time that you have with your partner. You don't know how much time you have. So... Um, at that point, take advantage of it. Okay. So that is it. Another Cupid's Corner Valentine's Day edition just for you guys. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. If you guys have celebrated on Valentine's Day or even on the weekend, because Valentine's Day fell on Tuesday this week. So yeah, Wednesday, excuse me. Wednesday I moved John's week. birthday dinner for all these Valentine's dinners that took over. <laughs> <laughs> so join us again for another Cupid's Corner next week at 11 a.m. Sunday on ABC. And if you can't watch it live, DVR it. Or if you can't do that either, just go to YouTube or any of our social media pages and you guys will see the show for yourself. And uh, pick up all these tips, tricks, and, and things that will help you guys out too as well. So we hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. We love you guys. Thank you for the support. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi. <laughs>